and he drives it hard and something broke. I don't think I'm gonna drive it hard anymore. <laughs> Time for a slight upgrade. Uh, made like a European 2.9. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are in Jeremy's garage. Yes, Jeremy's garage. <laughs> we are back. He started on the coupe already, so we're gonna be doing something really cool with that. Um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, so this is my 1985 Jetta Coupe. Did a build thread on the Vortex back in 2011. I uh, got the car as an empty shell in the bushes of Silas's backyard. Uh, didn't have anything in the car or barely any suspension holding the car together and then I just slowly started to swap everything over to CE2 you know and this sourced everything that I wanted everything that was cool to me Recaro interior red stripe door cards red stripe dash uh, then you know modified a, a mark 3 VR6 cluster uh, that I got at a, at a car show a FK Silverline Pluses, inch R32 front brakes. Uh, went with the larger 25 millimeter master cylinder. The head was ported and polished. Uh, I ported out the factory exhaust manifolds and then went with the TT uh, downpipe, TT exhaust system. And then I took my intake manifold, uh, made like a European 2.9 clone but then on one section of it i took the metal out where the spark plugs went through because they it was kind of a funny design they actually go right in front of the intake runner so i thought you know give it better flow just to eliminate that airflow where it hits that hole for the spark plug and has to go around it i just ran the wires a different direction from underneath and, and it worked worked great he decided to build the transmission for it so i put a pelican in there and then we changed the gear stack on one through four to make it nice and short, like the early 4K Rabbit GTI transmissions. Uh, put a 3.94 ring and pinion out of a two liter 16 valve Passat and a fifth gear out of like a Canadian TDI, I think. It's like a 0 0.70. Uh, so it brought my RPMs, they were high first through fourth and then on the freeway cruising speed, kept it at 70 miles an hour, 3000 RPMs. Love the car. And this is not the way I plan to introduce this car. Um, you know, I was, I was hoping to have it rolling, have it, you know, doing a whole video of, of how it was set up before all these changes come. But, um, you know, Jeremy drives this car hard. It's a, it's a date, it's not a daily driver, but it's a car to be driven. He drives it hard and something broke. And he, that's what we're trying, that's what we're going to figure out. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get to the bottom. I mean, I have so many things that, you know, like I'm putting power steering back in the car. Um, you know, I'm putting a whole different front end on the car, which I'm super pumped for that. Uh, I have a lot of stuff, real old school look. Uh, but yeah, I did, I did something with the clutch. You know, I love to drive the car. Yes, I do drive it hard. Um, I don't think I'm gonna drive it hard anymore <laughs> after I put it back together. But yeah, something broke with the clutch um, and I'm gonna figure that out today and I'm pretty excited to figure that out. It's been about a year, year and a half since this car um, was you know, moving. Um, and we are both really excited to see what broke in the transmission because we really these. can't figure So we're discussing right now what we think <laughs> happened. So, so we think this might have cracked or fractured or something yeah and i okay. think something just broke in there and it's just not letting me because the car will start it won't let me push it'll let me push the clutch in but it won't let me go into gear it's like it's not pushing the clutch all the way in as far as it's supposed to go okay because when it first broke i thought it was like this i replaced this yeah i thought it was oh that's right the other one on the back of the brake pedal I got how much money I spent. Yeah, like, I remember when you were replacing all that was, stuff. Still didn't do it. Yeah, you know it's weird. Like I was saying, I, I can start the, I can put it in gear, start the car, and the car will drive. But once I pull it out of gear, I can't go back into gear. It's, yeah, it's a weird thing, and I and I feel like that's the problem. But if that is the problem, I'm gonna buy the the beefed up one. You know, for when I unfortunately I do drive it hard. <laughs> So, as we all know from the rabbit video if you guys uh, haven't watched it i'll link it here he drive he likes to drive hard i don't have a show car so i buy i build cars so i can drive them i don't care you know what i mean i care but i'm like 
you know, I have fun with my cars. So what we're seeing is we are both really excited to get this engine out. That's what we're doing today. We're pulling this engine out. A lot of stuff going on with this engine. We'll fill you guys as each part, each video comes out. But this um, transmission, we are very excited to see what happened to kind of uh, bring this whole engine out because um, that wasn't the plan before. So. No, just one of the things was this, the, the, when I built this car, I wanted everything brand new, you know? I, I replaced everything on it because I wanted it to be a good, reliable car. And so I had a starter that worked I'm perfectly fine, I'm sure. So I took it to some place and just had it all gone through. Dude, it didn't work from the day I got it done. It was such a joke. So I'm so happy to like actually put a stock starter on everything's gonna work start every time i turn the key hopefully oh it will hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. wow <laughs> just oh, i just wanted to jostle that cv drive axle <laughs> just oh, i just started making Freaking mess up there, dude. Woo! Just broken there. Just the boot. Oh, it, it would flex. It would. It's original Machine. Uh, he's been waiting a while for this, so now that it's out, we're gonna go uh, get some treats for us, come back, take the transmission off, see what broke in there, yeah. and then update you guys on kind of maybe uh, what's what's going back in there. <clears throat> yeah, definitely some updates, some cool, cool stuff, some old school, awesome stuff. <laughs> Just got the transmission off, and now we get to see how and why it wasn't going into gear. It doesn't look fractured at all. It is still together. Maybe I just broke the clutch. No. Nope. God, it looks broken right there. It doesn't go through though. No. Dude. Wow. Dude, I think. I think I see it already. Yeah, look. Look at this one. It's not there. Oh, broke a rivet. Yep. Broke the, broke the disc. This is the pressure plate rivet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. So oh. And look. Is it right there? You can see it. Right here, and this is the part that broke off. So that little piece it's right there off. made this awesome car undrivable for like a year. This Which... band or strap is supposed to be on there to keep it tight and, and all the pressure the same. I mean, it wouldn't let me put it into gear. Wouldn't let me shift it into gear, but I could put it into gear with the car off. 
wouldn't let me go to second gear. I could drive it, release the clutch, move the car around, but I'd have to turn the car off and then start it in gear with the clutch in before I could do anything. Dude, crazy. I know. But I'm glad it's something we found, yeah. not something internal like in the transmission or anything. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this clutch, oh my God. I think 30, 30 or 20,000 miles on it. Yeah, but those miles are hard miles. Once in a while. There was some, <laughs> nothing's really thrashed on. That was a good eye seeing that. But I mean, it could have just been a defective rivet and it broke. Or it could have been like, because he drives it so damn hard. Like when I, I was riding with him, dude, just pounding on this car, which it, it took it for... How many years? I, I only drove it like that every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no more. So I hope you guys liked uh, just chilling with us in the garage today. You know, the goals were to get the engine out, check out the transmission, because we were both were wondering for like over a year, you know, what went wrong with that transmission. Now we know it was a rivet on the uh, pressure, plate. pressure plate. So hope you guys liked uh, hanging out with us today. See you guys next time. So, we are setting up the thumbnail. We are setting up the rally grill, uh, the BBS tires, the Shrik uh, intake. Uh, you know, um, he's got the rally grill out and everything. So yeah, you know, setting up for the thumbnail. That's what you know takes the most time. So, got the sparkles. Put a light in there to light up the sparkles a little bit more. So yeah, little behind the scenes for you guys of what it takes to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> I'll get some coffee. You want some coffee? Let's go get some coffee. A cup of coffee.